Meanwhile, the National Security Council or NSC has reaffirmed its dedication to protecting the West Philippine Sea amidst rising global challenges. National Security Advisor Eduardo Año emphasized the government's commitment to upholding the 2016 Arbitral Award and addressing both internal and external threats. More details from Henry Nicolás. The National Security Council or NSC reaffirmed its commitment to protect and secure the country's territory in the West Philippine Sea. According to National Security Advisor Secretary Eduardo Anio, maintaining our sovereignty in the WPS will remain a top priority of the government. This is also because of the 2016 Arbitral Award that we are holding where we won based on the international order to protect our maritime rights. Following this, Anu said that aside from the internal threat, they are also continuing their efforts to address the external threat in the country. This statement also follows the celebration of the 126th Independence Day yesterday and the intensifying global challenges facing our territories. Meanwhile, the Philippine Navy condemns the recent maritime exercise of China in Philippines' exclusive economic zone. According to Philippine Navy spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea, Commodore Roy Vincent Trinidad, the said activity by China is illegal, threatening, aggressive, and deceptive by not coordinating in the Philippine government. Trinidad reported that the activity included a landing ship, a warship, and two support vessels of China also conducted a helicopter and hovercraft operations near part of the Sabina Shoal. This is Henry Nicolas for Euro TV News.